So you want to live in Pennsylvania and you want to commute to Jersey? Well, this video is going to help you out. Hi everybody, I'm Gregory Martier, your local real estate expert here in the greater Philadelphia area. In the city, out of the city, in the suburbs, we got you covered in Jersey too. Appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel. Make a comment down below. Click like, click love. You can click your text and call us and email us or text us anytime. You can send us a fax, send us a letter. We're here to help and glad to do it. We answer all of our communication. We do work nights and weekends and my team and I are ready to help you out. So this video was a suggestion from one of our viewers. It says, well, if you want to commute to Jersey, but you want to live in Pennsylvania, hint, hint, wink, wink, what are the best towns to do it? So obviously the, the New Jersey is huge and so is Pennsylvania and so is Philadelphia, but we narrowed down some general regional type areas that will hopefully will help. We'll put some links below, but we kind of give you some ideas of the areas to, to, to gravitate towards based on the cost of living, based on the schools, and based on how easy is it for me to get into Jersey and how inexpensive is it for me to get into Jersey because we haven't found a way, though there is a couple of ways. No, just kidding. Most of the ways um, major arteries to get into Jersey will cost you not coming in, but coming back. That's right, Pennsylvania charges you to come back to our great state and hey, it's well worth every penny. It's about $5 on the two major bridges uh, from, uh, from the city into Jersey. But there are ways to avoid that. We're gonna, we're gonna get you a free trip from New Jersey to Philadelphia, but let's get started today. All right, so the big challenge in living in Pennsylvania and commuting to Jersey, we gotta get you across the Delaware River. <laughs> so you like to swim, get your bathing suit on, head on in, dive in you can do it and people actually do it for exercise but I, I wouldn't suggest you have to do that every single day now if that's your uh, certainly what you want to do you're more than welcome to do it we'll put a link to a to a great bathing suit store here below but now with all kidding aside we got to get you across the delaware river but the delaware river has these really great river towns or delaware river towns or it could be called river towns depends on how you call it bucks county in pennsylvania is where these towns mostly lie. We're talking about Yardley and Washington Crossing. We also got Lumpertville, and we're not far from Doylestown, so those are really the biggest and best, uh, most widely well-known, fun towns, walkable in some cases, great school districts, great price points for houses, great bang for your buck, super good cost of living, really good safe areas for families, and for single people too. So if you're heading south through the city, I mean, all throughout the city, it's maybe a 45 minute car ride, or rather, yeah, a 40, well, it could be a 45 minute car ride if you really, uh, if you stay on 76. It's, it's like a 45 minute train ride, if you will, depending on other factors. It's anytime throughout the day to get from Center City to, um, let's say Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And there are several, public transit authorities that can get you from our fair city into New Jersey. Got to check out our sections of our city videos. But if you really want to stay close to New Jersey and have a, a quick commute on a train, pretty much center city east would be your best bet. But really anywhere throughout the city, you can jump on public transportation, maybe grab an Uber ride or, or drive to the train station and, and within, within less than an hour, you could be in Cherry Hill or, or, or one of the other centrally located, I say centrally to center city Philadelphia, cities in New Jersey. As you come south now, down um, you know, south of the city and south of Pennsylvania, south of Philadelphia, you're getting to areas like Boothwin and Aston. You've got Ridley. So these are in Delaware County and really easily commutable, let's say, to the airport. They're very airport convenient. You're also very convenient to Del the state of Delaware and the state of Maryland as we get south below Pennsylvania geographically. I 
did want to mention if you're closer to New York now, if you want to get to the uh, northern parts of Jersey and you want to be in Pennsylvania, you could be a, an easily commutable ride. Uh, again, we're back in Bucks County now. We got Bucks to the north, a little bit of Chester, but mostly Delaware County to the south. Everything else is northern and western, the suburbs I'm talking about of Philadelphia. But if you're going to be north out of, out of the city, closest to New York, if you will, those Delaware River towns are going to be huge for you. If you wanted a, a lower price point, but really great areas to live, we got Ben Salem, we got Croydon, we got Fairless Hills, super great spots to live, great, excellent school districts, highly ranked, awesome real estate in that area. What's nice about that part of Pennsylvania versus that part of New Jersey, if you were to, to look at a map, and we'll, we'll post some pictures of maps, you could get more house in Pennsylvania because the taxes are lower in, let's say, Croydon or, or, uh, or Fairless Hills versus that part of New Jersey, it's sister or it's brother or it's across the river neighbor because the taxes are in some cases, three and four and five times higher in New Jersey. Now, I'm not knocking New Jersey for that, but I will knock New Jersey for that. Hey, you can't have those high taxes. So Bucks County is literally a short drive to Trenton, New Jersey. And once you get in Trenton, you can hop on the train and get into Newark pretty quickly. Very commutable and, and, and easy to go that route. You could get on public transportation to get into Trenton and then public transportation to get into New York City. We do have a lot of customers that actually live, work, and breathe and love Pennsylvania, but commute to New York. It's a couple of hour ride to New York. Really, it's about 90 miles some from Center City to, to New York City, uh, if, if, give or take. So it's really not that bad. It's actually probably an hour and a half drive, depending on traffic. So maybe if you went at like three o'clock in the morning, although not during um, any weekends but generally speaking a couple of hours you could be in new york getting out of philadelphia traffic and getting out of new york traffic i would add an, a couple of hours to that maybe as well <clears throat> but route 80 from the poconos gets you in new york pretty quickly all right so enough about new york we're talking about new jersey but what are the best towns closest to the city so if you're thinking of living in PA and you want to commute to New Jersey, well, what if I want to live in New Jersey and commute to Pennsylvania? Hey, that's not a bad thing. So we picked out a few, Cherry Hill being number one, uh, or being one of them. We got Collingswood, New Jersey, and then Haddonfield. Those are our three closest neighbors. And as you go a little bit further out, Maple Shade is great. I actually have family in Maple Shade. So, you want to live in Pennsylvania, commute to New Jersey because you want to get less taxes maybe or take advantage of some, some things that Pennsylvania has to offer that New Jersey doesn't. You want to stay as close to the border as possible, like duh, right? But your best bet would be the Bucks County, Philadelphia City as you're coming down south and then below Delaware County, parts of Chester County towards the state of Delaware. I hope you found this video helpful. There's a lot of other little details that maybe we didn't cover, so hit us a comment down below. We'll be glad to answer any of your questions. You want us to make a video about something, we're glad to do it. Hit that subscribe, click the bell notification, make a comment, get, shoot us a text, shoot us an email. You can give us a call anytime. I'm Gregory Martyr, your local real estate expert here in the Philadelphia area, in the city, out of the city, in New Jersey too. Got you covered in the suburbs. My team and I are always working. We work nights and weekends. We're happy to do it. We're glad to be of help. Give us a call anytime. And thanks for stopping out to our channel. We'll see you on the next one.